Let me take one initial and think about this. So 2 minus 2 and this. Minus 1 plus 1. This is minus 1. This is plus 1 here. Half taken. And then this is 3, 4. This is 3, 4. Minus 2, minus 3. If I take. Okay. So this is what I have taken. Now if I just find out. Minus 2, minus 2 plus minus. Okay. So if I take A here. And now let me find out a square. Therefore, a square is equal to a into a. That means this value is 2 minus 2 minus 4. If I multiply them, this is minus 1, 3, 4, 1, minus 2, and minus 3. If I multiply this to itself, 2 minus 2 minus 4. This is minus 1, 3, 4 here. This is 1 minus 2 minus 3. If I multiply them, then what is going to give us? It gives us let me write here. So multiplying this first row into first column. Okay, so first column 2 into 2. This is 4 here. 2 into 2, 4. Minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2. Minus 4 into plus 1 plus this is minus 4 here. Minus 4 into 1. Then first row, second column, 2 into minus 2, minus 4. Minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. Minus 4 into minus 2 is plus 8. Alright. Okay, then third column, first row, third column. This is 2 minus 4 is minus 8. Okay, this is 2 into minus 4. Minus 2 into plus 4 is minus 8 again. Then minus 4 into minus 3 is plus 12. Okay, then second row, we have to take minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. 4 into 1 is plus 4. Then minus 1 into plus 4. This is plus 2. 3 into 3 is plus 9. 4 into minus 2 is minus 8. Alright, again second row into third column. Is minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4. 3 into 4 is plus 12. 4 into 3 is minus 12. Minus, minus 3 into plus 4. Minus 12. Okay, this element is done. Now let us talk about the third column we have done. Now third row, first column, it will give us 1 into 2, 2. Minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2. Minus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. First row, second column, this is minus 2 into minus plus 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 3 plus 3 is minus 6. Minus 3 into plus 2. 2 minus 2 is plus 6. Again, third row and third column. It is 1 into minus 4 is minus 4. 4 into minus 8 is, sorry, minus 2 is minus 8. Minus 3 minus 3 plus 9. Now let me check whether the same value comes out to be or not. What does it give us? 4 plus 2, 8. This 4 plus 10. So this 2 only. Minus 4, minus 6, or, and 10, minus 10, so it's minus 2 here. Minus 8, minus 6, 16, minus 16, and plus 4, it is minus 4. Right. The same value is obtained. The same A is obtained. Minus 2, minus 3, plus 6 is minus 2 here. 2 plus 9, 11. 11 minus 3 is 3. Positive. 4 plus 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 4 positive. Okay. Minus 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right. This is also the same. 2 plus 2 or uh, minus 3 is plus 1. Minus 2 plus 6 minus 6 comes out with minus 2 here. So minus 2, okay. Minus 4 and minus 8 is minus 12. Minus 12 plus 9 is minus 3. Okay, same A is obtained. Same A is obtained. Minus 3. This is plus 8. That means this is an idempotent matrix. Hence, A is an idempotent matrix. What we see here? Hence, a is an idempotent matrix. Is an idempotent matrix. Okay, so this is what we have defined. Now let us talk about 14th one. What is the 14th one now? So 14th type here. Idempotent matrix we have defined. Now let us talk about periodic matrix. What is one is periodic 
periodization matrix. What is periodic matrix? If a matrix A is such that for a positive integer K, A K plus 1 equal to 0. A K plus 1 equal to 0. Then K is the least number. And A K plus 1 equal to 0 if I just take. Okay, periodic matrix here. A K, A K plus 1, sorry. A K plus 1 equal to not A 0. This, then it will be nil potent. It is A only. If A K plus 1 equal to A, then it is an a periodic matrix is K for any number K here. If K is positive number, let me take here. If, as I just defined, item potent matrix, if K I take 1 and A is square equal to A, that means an item potent matrix it will be. If K is a least, a least positive 